for a stern warning to you, the consumer. You got to brace yourself for high gas prices. You know this, fool. You already know this. But they're going to get higher. You probably already know that, too. Some people like to play, uh, what you call it? Surprise. Oh, these prices going up. Oh, these prices going up. Yeah, they going up. The price has been going up before you was even alive. Oh, they at the highest, though. Yeah, minutes. they at the highest of your time. Y'all, back when gas was, I remember 87 cents. When it hit a dollar, people complained like hell. You know what I'm saying? So, don't be surprised. Just get a better job. The way everybody else did the past. All right, y'all. Uh, cost of this Russia and Ukraine war junk. Russia produces around like 10% of the global, global demand for gas. Which equals roughly around another 10 million. This light is killing me. <laughs> another 10. It don't look like it on y'all egg. Let's see. See the shadow. Another 10 million barrels of oil a day. Uh, that escalation between them. You know what I'm saying? Calling me. Always, oh, y'all. Hold them down. Hold up. All right. The two states, uh, Ukraine and Russia, what have you, since they added with each other, that uh, disrupts the chain of fossil fuels. Now, all this could be a ploy, y'all. It can't even, it, it could not even be real. It could be a ploy to move us over to electric cars. Yeah. They could be trying to get this all set up so we can get the electric cars in. Everybody be like, I ain't finna be dealing with that. Yeah. Uh, there's a, there's a story I heard of a Mercedes. It was an all electric one. And the dude battery went out in it. And he had, I think, 40 some thousand miles on the car. The battery went out at 40 some thousand miles. They said that battery was going to cost him $20,000, I think, to get fixed. And the car was only worth $16,000. What would you do? So soon, y'all, you're going to see $5 a gallon at the pump. So don't be surprised. You surprised at what I just said, ain't you? Then you're still going to be surprised when you see that $5 a gallon at the pump. I'm already at 365, 369 of what I, the gas I use. That's regular, non-ethanol. Not premium, none of that. Regular non-ethanol. <sighs> That's soon as we get to $100 a barrel. Because right now we are at like uh, 94. I think $94 a barrel. Now, I'm not talking about my state. This is probably going to start in California or somewhere with that high gas. So... California and you big city slickers, y'all gonna get it first. By that time, we might be in a slid out of it and we get a little ass. Uh, we gonna get around $6.50, $7 a gallon soon, probably, more than likely. I think the highest I ever seen was close to $5, I believe. That was after uh, Hurricane Katrina. Disrupted all the little gulf up out there. Uh, so... I think I have nothing else to say about that. I think I already said about it. they just trying to push this with the uh, electric cars and all. Something you don't want to go with. Maybe in your grandkids' kids' future. But in our future and your kids' future, no. Let's that's, that's not go with that. Uh... Hybrid 
hybrid cars are not what people think they are. People thinking that you get a hybrid car, it's like you can go gas sometime, you can go electric sometime, but you, you got to weigh the balance. You know, you got to weigh it. It's just like when people be like, I ain't got no gas bill no more. I got a total electric house. The electric bill is just going to go up because you're going to use the electric in the place of what you use it for gas. Same with the electric car. You're not going to go to the gas pump, right? No, you're not. But you're going to plug that into your house and use your energy, which is going to come out of your light bill. So no matter how you look at it, all the tree huggers, kumbaya, you're still going to be up there regardless of what you do. So I say we stick with our carburetors and our fuel injectors and keep pushing them fossil fuels out the ground until the ground is gone. Just the way it is. It's the circle of life. Electric's not where you to go. Soon, man, I might speak this into existence. I ain't never heard of it, but... And speaking to existence is pretty much bullshit these days. Oh. Uh, they may come up with electric planes, huh? They'll be like, yeah, we're saving the earth by not polluting it with all the jet fuels and the leads, leads and metals and all that. True story. But where you gonna get the electricity to charge the plane? I'm sure it's gonna be more than what it do to do a car. So you gonna take some big ass plug and stick in that plane and it's gonna draw the whole city down. Probably go burn out, brown out, black out, whatever. Yeah. And what that do, amp up on the other end where they creating the electricity with fossil fuels. Don't let a stupid person tell you that, oh, you need to limit your footprint with out the gas and all that. Don't go with that. Just let that person ride out with whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just let them ride with their little saying and do like I do drunk peoples. <laughs> Cause you gonna lose. That person will never lose. You gonna lose. Then you gonna step on their level with them of stupidity. Which is stupidity is here and, and, and no, no, oh, I'm backwards ain't no. Ooh, stupidity is here. And you here, and once you go to going back and forth with them, you at their level, and you gonna lose because they stupid. They're more stupid than you are. Until you get on their level, now it makes you stupid because you fail for their level. Don't entertain stupid people. Just remember, the grass is always greener on my side.